Revelation chapter 13. And the two wings of the great eagle were given to the woman that she might fly into the wilderness to her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. And the serpent threw out of his mouth after the woman water as a river that he might cause her to be carried away by the stream. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the river which the dragon threw out of his mouth. And the dragon became wroth with the woman and went away to make war with the rest of her seed that keep the commands of the God and hold the testimony of Yeshua. And he stood upon the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast coming up out of the sea, having ten horns and seven heads, and on his horns ten diadems, and upon his heads names of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power, and his throne, and great authority. And I saw one of his heads as though it had been smitten to death, and his death stroke was healed, and the whole earth wondered after the beast, and they worshipped the dragon, because he gave his authority to the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like the beast, and who is able to war with him? And there was given to him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and there was given to him authority to effectuate his will forty and two months. And he opened his mouth for blasphemies against the God, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and the ones tabernacling in the sky. And it was given to him to make war with the holy ones and to overcome them. And there was given to him authority over every tribe and people and tongue and nation. And all that dwell on the earth shall worship him. Every one whose name hath not been written from the foundation of the world in the book of the life of the Lamb that hath been slain. If anyone is possessing an ear, let him hear. If anyone is for captivity, into captivity he goeth. If any man shall kill with the sword, with the sword must he be killed. Here is the hopeful perseverance and the faith of the holy ones. And I saw another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spoke as a dragon." And he exerciseth all the authority of the first beast in his sight. And he maketh the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose death stroke was healed. And he doeth great signs that he should even make fire to come down out of the sky into the earth in the sight of men. And he deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by reason of the signs which it was given him to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast who hath the stroke of the sword and lived. And it was given to him to give a spirit to it, to the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak 
and cause that as many as should not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, the small and the great, and the rich and the poor, and the free and the bond, that there be given them a mark on their right hand or upon their forehead, and that no man should be able to buy or to sell except he that hath the mark, even the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. He that hath understanding, let him count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred and sixty-six.